Four weeks ago, David Hartman of Good Morning America spent some time in California with the crew of a B-1 bomber. It was to be a profile of both the controversial plane and the men who fly it. In a tragic coincidence, the pilot with whom Hartman flew a month ago is the man who was killed yesterday in that B-1 crash. What began as a profile then is now a tribute. August 2nd, 1984, Edwards Air Force Base, the B-1 bomber, over 200 tons of power and electronics waiting quietly in the heat, ready as we got ready. I'd be about 200 feet off the ground at that point. Pre-flight briefing, they sat me down by the crew, Lieutenant Colonel Leroy Schroeder, Air Force test pilot, Captain Otto Wanacek, engineer, and a civilian, test pilot Doug Benefield. They told me this guy was the old pro, he'd done it all. I even kidded him about it. Listen, when I look at how young you guys are, and then I look at Benefield, I'm glad I'm with him because I know he's got more experience. <laughs> now it's down to business, the weather briefing and the mission briefing. One test, we would drop five bombs. Okay, if we do, we can press on and try to get off at 10.30. This guy, Benefield, really was special. I couldn't stop watching him. He told me he'd flown over 120 different airplanes. He'd lost count, 34 years of flying, combat in Vietnam, test pilot for the Concorde, and for the last 10 years, Rockwell's chief test pilot for the B-1. He was exactly what I've thought for years a test pilot would be like. Great, dry sense of humor, but no nonsense when it came to airplanes. We're up. For Schroeder, Benefield, and Wanacek, it's another workday. Create a problem for the plane and see what happens. Simulate an emergency and hope you don't have one. Kill one engine, see how it flies. Now kill two. Speed, yaw, pitch. Okay, that works. Zero come left, heading zero five nine. My dad taught me, watch people who are good at what they do. Watch Benefield. Watch his hand. Strong, knowing, quick, controlled, gentle. Nothing tentative in these hands. They've been here before. Five, four. Now it's time to drop the bombs. Five dummies, they've done it before, but this time, there's trouble. You only got two away. Two away, two away. Now hang loose just a minute. Stay the... Okay, stand by. We'll stay pull clear up. and let's slow down a bit. That was Benefield. Slow down, stay loose, no nonsense. Now, time to go home. One last pass over Edwards at 200 feet, 600 miles per hour. It's loud in the cockpit. I wonder what we sound like from the ground. We've read books and seen countless movies about these test pilots and engineers. They're heroes to me, special. They seem almost immortal, flying planes that may not work, flying them in a way they're not supposed to fly, knowing the machine they love could kill them. You oh, learn how to fly fast, aren't you? Are you a pro? Are you a pro? I'll tell you. In his book, The Right Stuff, Tom Wolfe describes the job of the test pilot. The idea seems to be that a man should have the ability to go up in a hurtling piece of machinery and put his hide on the line and then have the moxie, the reflexes, the experience, the coolness to pull it back in the last yawning moment and then go up again the next day and the next day and every next day. That's our report on World News tonight. For all of us here at ABC News, 